Kids born to teen moms. How different is your life compared to other kids? One of my friends has a teen mom. She doesn't talk about it too much but she says that it's nice how all family members, great grandparents, are still alive. I went to school with a girl who had her first child at 14. She had two more before graduation. At the age of 28 she became a grandmother. The child born's great 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 grandmother was alive and only 82. When friends would come over for the first time growing up, I'd get a lot of, I didn't know you had an older sister. I don't, that's my mother. Also, since my mom and I are only 16 years apart, we ended up liking a lot of the same music, which made going to concerts a lot easier, because we'd often want to go to the same shows, so, I've definitely seen a lot more bands than friends. I've noticed that I didn't have the same opportunities as other kids because being a teen mom can lead you down a road of struggle and poverty if you don't have help from family. I've always wanted to play sports, but she could never afford the equipment needed at school to be a part of it. Mentally, I've had to mature faster at a young age because she was still a kid herself. It's unnerving to think teachers would tell me I seemed older than my age at 10 years old. My mom was 18, so my aunt and uncle are only 10 years older than me. My uncle is 6 years, so I got to do all kind of rad stuff with my aunt and uncle like skateboarding, surfing, snowboarding. They were and are more like a brother and sister. Real dad is a pos. My mom fell in love at 20 with a 40 year old. They are still together 38 years later. Raised me like his own. He had 5 other kids. So I had all kinds of brothers and sisters and tbh a better life than if my real dad stuck around. My mother resented me and the freedom I had as a teen and young adult. I got to do and experience so many things she didn't get to by choice. On her side, I come from a long line of teen moms but I didn't make that mistake. I was 27 when my daughter was born, and my daughter is almost 22 and no kids yet so the cycle is broken on our branch at least. Parents still trying to grow up and learn life lessons 10 years later because they never really had the chance to while raising you. It's kinda cool though cause then if you're aware enough you also pick up on it. I'm an early 2000s baby. My mom really liked emo music when I was little, so I considered myself emo at 6. I remember sitting in the backseat of my mom's forerunner and listening to mindless self-indulgence. MCR, Blink-182, American Football, Fall Out Boy, Taking Back Sunday, and all the late 90s early 2000s emo music. I got to watch a lot of 90s cartoons along with 2000s stuff because it was what my mom watched. And we always had fun sitting on the couch watching TV. I had a really good childhood. Me and my mom were always friends, she is great mom, and I always look up to her for being a badass young single mom who raised me alone. My mom wasn't a teen when she had me but she started having children when she was 14 and was basically pregnant every other year. I was her 6th child at 25 and she had 11 children in total. She doesn't remember or know exactly who my biological father is lol so yeah. Me and my partner, gay couple raised his niece's son from 6 months to 18. She was so immature when she had him at 16. She decided to feed him less so he would not use up so many diapers. Bad move. He calls us dad and papa. Calls his mom Kathy. He is now 26. Love him dearly. I met every one of my grandparents, and some of my great grandparents too. I was growing up at the same time my mom and all of my aunts and uncles were. On a more obvious day-to-day -day note, I was at home on my own making stovetop spaghettios at 5 years old, so I would probably say I have needed to be more mature, independent, and more okay with a majority of things not going my way than a lot of the people I know. I don't really get along with people my age because of that. Pros. I know my great grandma. Cons. I don't know my parents. Lesson to take out of this, don't have children as a teenager. I was a teen mom. I asked my 16 year old what differences he saw from himself and friends and his response was. Not much difference other than we are more likely to like the same music. Teen parents, no money. They hated each other. Hated me as a result. Didn't have any idea how to raise a child. Now I'm super frocked up and ashamed of my own existence to the point that shame is the controlling emotion of my life and everything I do seems to be based in some sort of guilt or shame. I feel guilty that I exist and it's frocking killing me man. My sister was a teen when she had my oldest nephew. He is, by far, the most level-headed and mature out of his siblings. Sadly, I think it's largely because he had to grow up faster than they did, due to feeling an obligation to take care of his mom. Let's just say she wasn't well-suited to being a teen mom. He's in his mid-twenties now and, while his younger siblings still struggled to find their footing in life, he's turned out to be an incredibly fine man. Married an awesome woman, is an ex-marine and currently runs a very successful business. I couldn't be prouder. Sometimes I think my mom's life would have been better if I wasn't born or at least born when she was an adult. Parents were 18 when they had me. I got lucky. 
They loved each other and are still together today. Almost 32 years later, I had a great home life with great parents. That being said, I had to put up with a relentless onslaught of MILF jokes starting at age 13-ish. Even had a teacher say something along the lines of, Damn Ty Ty the fire guy, your mom is smoking hot. She's single? After a parent-teacher conference night, in middle school, in front of the class. My mom ended up having seven kids by three different dads and she's not even 45. She's never had a relationship with a guy that didn't involve her getting pregnant immediately and despite being second oldest, I have no personal mother-daughter relationship with her. She started at 16. Teenagers aren't known for their great decisions. We broke. I was a teen mom, late teens but still young. And more often than not people assume that the kids are my siblings. Now that I'm a bit older and have a couple it's less so. It is scary to think I could be a grandparent at 40 though haha. My kids are still young so as they get older I'll make sure I take into account their feelings about how they feel about having a young mom. The age difference between me and my brother is 22 years. 23 for my sisters. I also know people my age with children the same age as my siblings so it's a bit weird. One of my roommates was born to a teen mom. And I was born to an older mom. She was almost 40. For the most part it's pretty normal, but every once in a while something will come up like the Mount St. Helens eruption, where my roommate will say, yeah my mom remembers that happening when she was a kid, and I'll be like, my mom was in college. I have a lot younger siblings from my dad and the difference between how I see how they are growing up to how I grew up is so different and that's with one same parent. I think I had to grow up a lot earlier and I always say my mom raised me to be 40. My siblings are definitely kids teenagers whereas I needed to really take care of myself for the most part because my mom was in school and working full time or with my dad. He had way younger kids he needed to take care of. I like that I had young parents because I think it's made me a pretty well-rounded adult, even though having a lot of responsibility as a kid was tough. My mom gets mistaken for my sister more than the average mother would. People are always surprised she has a 20-year-old, and believe it or not, we have completely different tastes in music. I know a teen parent whose kid later became a teen parent. The guy has a living grandparent and grandchild. Not a kid anymore but my parents were 17 and 18 when I was born. Now in my 40s. My parents are just over 60 and still healthy. My parents have been active my while life and were UG while I was a kid. It makes for some low budget experiences as a kid but at the same time the parents were engaged and able to keep up. It was bad. They were horrible trash humans that messed me up pretty bad. E was shuffled from house to house to house and didn't find a stable home until I was a teenager and that was with grandparents. I have trust issues, abandonment issues, but in other areas of my life I'm successful. I did amazing in school because it was my safe place. I became a teacher. I am married and have two kids, both of whom I was married while having and out of college. Mum was 17 when she had me. I'm 43 this year. My life now is epic. I saw how things were growing up and did not want that life at all. No thank you. Money was tight. Had no holidays. Sometimes no money for food. Mum and dad split up which was horrific. So got a good education. Married a nice girl. Had first child at 39. Financially secure and pretty happy. Mom was 17 when I was born. 22 when I went to kindergarten. 28 when I went to middle school. 32 when I graduated high school. 35 when I had my first kid. That kid is 35 and just had his first kid. I'd say he's broken the cycle. Parents constantly work to make a living. I also never experienced such gifts as a car for my birthday or anything like that. My parents are hard working and are always trying to grow financially. It shocked me knowing they were getting hit hard by society. In a sense of money, adulting, etc. So it shocked me knowing all of that was happening at the same time I was in elementary. Very loving though. They taught me how to be a hard worker and not be materialistic. How much of a teen we talking? My mom was 18 when I was born. From how she sees it, we grew up together. My being born forced her to grow up, which had its ups and downs. I am sure she resents missing out on her softball scholarships because she got pregnant but now she has four of us. My mother had me at 17. She was a stripper off and on until her mid-30s. She was physically and mentally abusive and also moved me to a new school every single year of my life, including high school. Luckily, I broke the cycle and am about to graduate college in the spring. I am estranged from her, and could never hurt a fly. I had to grow up too fast as a result of watching my mom and dad make mistakes that they experienced too soon. My mom was 15 and a horrible mom to me, too young and dumb to know what to do. But with my sister she's amazing. 14 years difference. It's interesting to see how she's grown up to be a loving and caring mom. 
My great-great-grandmother passed away at age 103 when I was 24. Three out of my four grandparents are still alive and in their mid-60s. I was the ring bearer at my own parents. Wedding at age 2. It never felt weird. Until during school I realized that my grandparents were younger than a lot of my friends' parents. My mom got carded at my 21st birthday party and she said, well that's my child. And he just ordered a beer so. I've lived a normal life and my parents are still together. Which I think is pretty incredible. My mom was 16 when she had me and put me up for adoption. She forced her way into my life when I was a teenager then promptly disappeared for 10 years to raise her new, real kid. Made contact again in my 20s. Which went terribly, so I went no contact a few years later. Not even a happy b day from her on Facebook but I get to see her post about how much she loves her daughter all the time so yeah, not a fan of teen moms. My mother told me a lot that she regretted having children and I was neglected and abused on all levels in our house. Not just by her but her severe inexperience in life led to a lot of bad information or lack of information on how to handle certain situations, so I did not get the care I needed. I am estranged from my entire family now and have been for two, five years and do not regret it at all. I am 30 years old. My mom and I started having to deal with the same type of problems at the same time when I became independent and wasn't always next to her, caused for a different type of understanding between us. For the past few years we've been more of equals than her being an authority. Well, my name is Frocking Bentley, for starters. My mom had me in her early 20s but growing up she was always much younger than the other moms. For one thing, she was definitely too young though, and it put her in a bad situation until about a year ago. Now she's finally making friends and living an adult life at 43. My mom wasn't there for a lot of my childhood. She was always at school and my grandparents were the ones to take care of me. My mother tried her best to be there for me and I am happy that she made an effort to keep me happy. She was 15 when she gave birth to me. Oh man. Loaded question my mom was a teen mom. And I was her second. Guess times were different way back when. Typical late 70s early 80s stereotype. Dad piece of sit dipped yada yada. But I lucked out. My mom was awesome. We never knew we were dirt poor my childhood seemed normal and fun. Government cheese can sometimes make the best grilled cheese. Life changed. Stepdad is awesome. She's a stay-at-home grandma now and works part-time. All the kids are college graduates. Not rich. Just not fine. But man I'm lucky by all accounts. Should have been some BS drunk statistic. Well my mother had just turned 19 when she had me. Her first child. Granted she married my dad when she was 17. So different than most of everyone else here. Edit extra words. As someone who was a teen mom, a lot of these are giving me hope. I was there for the poor part of my parents' life whereas my brother gets to experience the the well-off part. Not gonna lie I'm a little jealous but I'd rather him have this life than mine. My mom did really immature things like send us to school with frosting and sprinkle sandwiches for lunch. On the plus side, she always dressed really cool. I think mine resented me to some extent. She simultaneously tried to live vicariously through me whilst being incredibly strict and controlling. When I pushed back on her control issues she told me she wishes she'd had an abortion when she got pregnant with me at 16 and that she hoped any children I have die because that's what I was to her. Dead. It's not always fun having a young parent. I'm 30 and I do not see or speak to her. Well my life is different because I have never met my biological father. He was an older man who knocked up my 17 year old mother. And he ran off when he found out that she was pregnant. Fortunately, my mom met a guy her age who didn't mind that she had an infant. He adopted me and raised me as his own son. Thanks, dad. My mom had me at 17. I'm 23 now and she is 40. My dad was never around. And she never married or had any more children. Financially it was a little rough growing up, but looking back I had a very supportive upbringing because my mom was always young enough to understand my perspective. It was kind of like growing up with a sister-mom hybrid. For example, when I was 15-ish I asked for birth control and my mom did not bat an eye. She just took me to the clinic and took care of it. No fuss. No drama. Just. Okay, I'm glad you're safe. My mom was a teenage when she had me and my sister. She killed herself when I was little and we've been through way too many foster homes before being adopted by anti-vaxxers who blame her for our autism. Halloween other moms. Costumes. Minnie Mouse. And cutesy characters. My mother full on Elvira. Including deep plunge neckline. Other moms taking their kids out for trick or treating. My mom is at a party. Other moms taking pictures of their kids in costumes. My mom taking pictures of her and her friends in costumes. I was born in the 70s to a 18-year-old mother. I wouldn't recommend it. Most teenage parents don't want to be parents. Parents need to be able to teach their life experiences to their kids. Teenagers and people in their early 20s don't know enough to do this effectively. I had my first kid at 35 and both my kids were planned. 
Not a child of a teen mom, but my mom was the only one to not have a child at age 17 to 21. My son will get to meet his great-great-grandmother. My great-grandmother because my family had children young. And she is only 84. I'm convinced my mother hated me. She loved my sister born 10 years after me. She lost both of us in our early teens either to abandonment or divorce. I'm convinced later in life she only allowed me into her life so she could get information from me about my sister. Now my sister lives with her and I'm not part of their family anymore. Which kills me a little and I cry about it far too often. My mom had me at 13. My bro soon after at 15. It was terrible growing up. She left my abusive dad and we were homeless rather than being stuck under his mom's roof. As the oldest I had to grow up quick to hopefully lead my bro along on right path. Now I'm married with my own life, but I am still close-knit with my mom and siblings. Been married for 12 years to my wife. Also my mom is barely in her mid-40s. Lol. So yeah. Probably have hotter moms. Damn. I'm the opposite of these posters. I'm 45 and my mom was 35 when she had me. Her father was over 60 when she was born. My maternal grandfather was born in 1880. Crazy. 